Oh my god, what's it called? <laughs> what's it called? It's called Scroller's Choice. And I know that. Or Scroller's Chat. What am I saying? Scroller's Choice. That's the magazine. Anyway, hello everybody and welcome to episode 15. What's it called? Scroll it's called Scroller's Choice. And I didn't mute the YouTube. I know that. Scroller's Chat. What am I saying? Scroller's Choice. That helps. All right. I always forget to mute that darn thing. <laughs> Oh, well, let's try this again. Welcome to episode 15, Scrollers Chat. Uh, on the panel tonight, I've got Mr. Rick Hutchinson and John Lawsons. And tonight we're going to be talking about uh, finding patterns online, uh, specifically buying them from designers, and then uh, also where you can find some of them for free. Uh, so um, that's what we're going to be discussing tonight. Uh, first thing, if you guys um, want to unmute yourself and introduce yourselves one at a time and tell everyone where they can find you. Starting with Rick. Okay, Rick Hutchison. Uh, find me at scrollsaws.com is my website and on Facebook under Rick Hutchison, YouTube under Rick Hutchison. Okay, thank you, Rick. All right, John. Hey, everybody. How's it going tonight? It's uh, John Cousins from Wood, if I could. Scroll sawing and woodworks up in northern Canada. Lots of snow right now. <clears throat> um, also uh, in partners with uh, Lee on the magazine. And uh, you can find me online. And uh, that's pretty much it right now, I suppose. If I'll tell you in later. All right, thanks, John. All right, uh, so gonna flip over here to the YouTube chat real quick so I can see it too. Um, right. Okay, well tonight we're going to um, be talking about where to find or buy scroll saw patterns online. Um, happens that we have one of our many talented designers on the panel tonight, and that's Rick Hutchinson. Uh, we're going to start with you, Rick, and uh, if you want to show them your site, I already have it open, so I'm just going to share screen, and uh, you guys, you can talk about your website, and if there's somewhere you want to go on there, just let me know, and I'll click on it for you. <clears throat> All right, I guess, basically, I've got uh, over 2,000 patterns. Most of them are the old Italian patterns and stuff and I've got it set up where you can go in and search uh, by the different types and stuff. Go to the books and individual patterns uh, right there in the middle of the screen. It'll take you off to the page where you can search by pattern types. So um, basically uh, here I got the site open now, so if I click on the Victorian patterns. Yeah, and then you can go over and I've got the books by types, and then down below that i got the patterns by type. So you can click on, like, the box, the first one, and it will bring up all the different box patterns that I have and tell you what the price for PDF, DXF, and CDR files. And then it also tells you what book they're in if you want to buy the book and then if you you can go to that book and uh, see what all patterns are in it okay Give me one second I'm trying to get this uh, YouTube figured out real quick well I could go over to the site and do a screen okay share. you want a screen share that's fine I'll let you do it and then uh, Okay, now we're over here to Google Hangouts. Screen share. Thank you. Share. Okay, I think I'm screen sharing now, right? Yes. Let me present you to everyone. Okay. So, oh, hi. from the home page, you can come down here to Pattern Home Page. And then I've got a few things down here on the bottom, like the VHS tapes. Uh, the spinner books, my clocks, 
uh, and a few French patterns and stuff, and bugs, and the wacky gears. Other than that, you can go back up to the top and go to books and individual patterns. And you can come over here and like if you want to buy a book on boxes, these are the books I have on boxes. Uh, I think I've got around 165 books. If you want something like a lamp, you know, you can come down here and there's the lamp patterns, uh, wall racks. Uh, if you want something like within a, a deer, I thought I had it like that too. Oh, that's pattern tights. Okay, then down here I can go down and, and if you want something with a deer on it, those are the patterns that I have available that have deers on them. And then if you want to go to patterns by price, you can go down and find the patterns by price. So I do have quite a few patterns on there. Go back to the home page. The other thing I do have for free. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Get back to the home page. Is uh, scroll saw videos uh, that just talk about different saws, different things you can do with them, uh, how to do cutting on some of the saws and all that stuff. And so I've got a pretty good selection of uh, I've got some tune-up tips in here on saws and everything else in the videos. And if you're into wood turning, uh, I also have videos for wood turning. And I've got, I don't know, about 60 videos there of wood turning and how to turn all the different projects. But, and I try to take you through them pretty quick. But uh, the big thing is, you know, the patterns. And, and you can get to them over here on the left side, too, of somewhere here. I thought I had them down here. Yeah, items for sale, pattern homepage. So basically, the, the uh, oh, and then the other one, I guess I've got two um, that I forgot to mention. Get back to the homepage. I've got the old German patterns also, and these were actual German, came out in a little, well, I don't know what you'd say, just a little book that was about the size of a comic book, but or a regular magazine maybe, and it had a big fold-out pattern in it, and these were back from the 1800s, 1879, uh, I've got the books from 1879 up through I think it's 86. So these are hey, uh, Yeah. Are you over on the chat? Um, Ron Norris is asking if you have any holiday stuff. Any holiday stuff? Uh, there may be some in there. Pattern homepage, books. I don't know whether I listed it by holiday. I may have listed it by Christmas or something. I think there was a few things, but not a lot. Most of these patterns is what I did is I bought the old catalogs from H.L. Wild and uh, some of those things. And from the little tiny black and white pictures in the catalogs, I uh, made full-size patterns. And I don't see anything that I haven't really listed any as just holiday. So, I can't think of uh, any of them right off that are technically holiday patterns. They're pretty much all just basic kinds of patterns. <coughs> Shelves and picture frames and pictures and clocks and lamps. And, and you know, with 2,000 of them, they're just a lot to search through. I mean, you just kind of come in, and I want trivets, and, you know, go through and look at it, the trivets. I mean, there's a lot of this stuff, there's just a ton to choose from. Uh, oh, oh, you know, that's quite a few patterns of just with boats in them. So, that's kind of the way around my site, I guess. 
and what's there and you can come here and get the video spinners clocks i got foot powered scroll saw that you can build uh, the bugs the wacky gears word art i've got some fonts on there i've got free bar humbug pattern i thought i had my hugs and kisses on there too but i don't see them so maybe i never got that on there so anyway that's pretty much it i guess no other questions i'll go ahead and pop off of that all right thank you rick all right we're going to um now we're going to move on to um going to the websites i want to show you guys um some places where you can buy patterns and some places where you can get them for free um real fast we're going to start with uh, of course uh scroll saw workshop which is run by of course steve good um on here steve has a bunch of free patterns under his pattern catalog uh, if you guys go in here and you um give me a second yep click on pattern catalog and then here it'll list all the stuff um, you can actually search it right here by category. Uh, Turn your here on. Oh, yeah, okay. That, that would help. Thanks. I was like, what's he saying? <laughs> Oops. All right. All right, can you see it now? Yeah, now you're up there. Okay. Um, so once you're on Steve Good's site, uh, you're on the, hold on. All right, it's right here. It's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. But it was pattern catalog. Once on this page, you go to select in the category, and you can choose where you want to go to. Um, because you, Ron was asking about Christmas stuff, I'm just going to randomly choose... The ornaments. If I can find a girl where they're in. There. Ornaments. And here's some of Steve's Christmas stuff. He's got a bunch of it. So there's like eight pages. Uh, it's not just Christmas stuff. He has a ton of different patterns in different categories. He's got puzzles on here. Um, if you guys want to look at the puzzles, there's a ton of puzzles on here. But all this stuff is free. So if you guys want to come on here and look at his site and take a look at some of his stuff, you can. That's one of the places where you can get a lot of free free patterns. Uh, Steve does a lot of really nice free patterns. So you can come over here to his site, which is scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and check out his site. And thanks to another Rick's site. Also, okay, now moving on to this one. Um, this is actually run by Dan Wilkins, um, called WilkinsWoodworking.net. Uh, if you guys come on his website, go to Patterns, which I will be on, I believe. So this is the pattern page. Um, he has one free pattern on here, or no, a couple free patterns on here. Uh, here's a Christmas set for free. Here's a cross on here for free. There's some more Christmas stuff on here. And there's a shelf clock. There's a cross. These are his free patterns. And then if you come back over here and you go down here, he has more for sale. Uh, for instance, if you click religious, there's a few of his crosses that are on here. There's a couple of his airplanes that he has. Amber, no. Uh, and he's got some other stuff in here as well. This lighthouse is really nice. He has a... Let's see, is that it? Yep. This is the one I was looking for. He has a Japanese koi pond project, uh, which is really cool. I actually saw this in person um, when he was at Iowa this past year, but the year before. He had this there and fairly cool. 
So this is one of the other ones you can make. It's like a Japanese koi pond with water. Um, you can go to his website and check out all his patterns. I'm doing this kind of fast, so if you guys want to, um, here, let me click on customer picks and see if there's, oh yeah, some of the stuff he designed, pictures of stuff he designed. Uh, see, here's one of the planes that was cut. I just want to see some of the stuff that he made that people cut. You can look on this page here. Um, but to go to his patterns, just go to this patterns page here once you're on the home page. Uh, WilkinsWoodworking.net. That's that website. And uh, we're going to move on now. All right, another place where you can get a bunch of really nice patterns is uh, the Winfield Collection. They have a lot of different scrolls out patterns, Christmas stuff, yard art. Uh, just about anything you can think of, they have it here. Um, so make sure you guys go on this website and you can check out some of their stuff. I'm trying to see real quick. <clears throat> and click on the scroll sound designs. Um, some of the stuff they have here. Here's some of the holiday stuff. Since uh, Ron Norris was asking about holiday stuff, you go around here. Some of the ones I got over here. Uh, you can take a look. There's a bunch of stuff on here. This is another place where you guys can get some scroll saw patterns. Uh, it's the winfieldcollection.com. You guys want to check out their website. Uh, moving on, this one is Scroller LTD, uh, obviously. <laughs> and they also have scroll saw patterns uh, on here. You guys can go here and check a look at all of their stuff. Uh, I'm looking right now, I can see that. There's a few of Bruce Worthings and Zantarchia projects that they sell for Bruce. Uh, this is his angel here. That's his uh, tiger family. And I think it's a zebra too. But there's a bunch of different holiday stuff on here. Uh, these look pretty cool. Uh, these look pretty cool. I'm not sure who these were designed by. Uh, but they look pretty cool. That's a neat. Uh, so that's another place where you guys could uh, check it out. It's scrolleronline.com. They have a bunch of stuff that you can look through. Outdoor, yard art, bird houses, just you name it. They got patterns for it. So um, another place you can check out. Uh, here's a, this is Judy Gale Roberts' website for her Antarctica patterns. Um, this is with her patterns. She has a couple of free stuff on here, um, which you guys can look through and download some of this, the free ones. But she has some amazing patterns. And if you guys don't haven't heard of Judy Gale, um, I've heard of Judy Gale, but you guys can look through here and you can see all of her patterns. What she has for sale, like the giraffe and the baby giraffe, which is pretty cool. Um, she also has books and stuff like that for sale too, DVDs. Uh, so if you guys want to come to her, she has uh, scroll saw classes, or not scroll saw, sorry, uh, intarsia classes, sorry, I should say scroll saw, but intarsia classes, um, the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced class uh, at her shop. So if you guys ever want to check that out, um, sign up. You're just come to the classes up here and click on one of these ones out there. Uh, again, her website is intarsia.com. Make sure you guys come on and uh, get, buy some stuff from her if you are into the intarsia art. All right, now moving on. This is Kathy Wise's website. Uh, her website is www.kathywise.com. Again, this is also intarsia patterns. Uh, if you guys are doing intarsia work, my here and click on the patterns. Oops, this was the wrong page. And then my catalog. Yep. And then we she has this all separated by different categories. So let's just select one at random. Uh, this is her catalog that we're downloading here. So just give us a second. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, this is just some of the patterns she has as a catalog, but uh, 
Chinese to see. I think we'll go to the gallery. Yeah, the gallery will show them probably be better. So this just gives you guys an idea of some of her designs. Uh, let's click on the birds. Here's one of her uh, pheasants. There's a Christmas one or a Christmas wreath. Oh, that's, that one's nice with the cardinals. Very nice. But there's different Christmas wreaths. Um, let's see what else is in here. There's cats and dogs. Horses. There's a basket for the kitties. Uh, some landscapes and people. So it's in that one. Oh, the wise moon. Piano. And the lighthouse. So yeah, if you guys want to come on and check out her stuff, it is uh, by a pattern from her. It's www.intarsia.com or I'm sorry, www.wise intarsia.com It's like her last name and then intarsia. So www.wise intarsia.com Come there and check out that one. Uh, this one here for shameless self-promotion for tonight is my pa my page which is uh, Wooden Wonders Workshop dot wixsite dot com slash home. Come here and check out my page. Uh, I got my airplane patterns on here. I got transportation patterns. I'm uh, just starting to dabble in the interior patterns. So I got some on here. Uh, not all of them yet, but you guys can check out my interior patterns. Mm -hmm. Actually, click on this one real quick. You guys can see some of the ones that I uh, have on here. Here's my uh, Spitfire I designed. So you guys can. Um, Come on here and check out my patterns too. And then moving on, this page here is Carl Taylor's website. Uh, Carl's patterns are all free. Uh, this is another place to get free, really nice free patterns. Uh, his website is girlsotvideo.com. Just come to his patterns page and all his patterns are free. Uh, so you guys can look through here and see all his cool patterns that he's designed. Some really nice patterns. I really like this one here. There you go, you can see that one up close. Pretty nice. Alright, so if you guys want to come on here, he's also got um, videos on here for tutorials and uh, reviews of different things like saw blades and uh, drill bits and things like that. So if you guys want to come on, you can check out his videos on here as well. It's uh, scrollsongvideo.com. If you guys want to come out and check out his website. This uh, website here is the Intarsia website for Garnett Hall, uh, a good friend of mine. This is uh, sawbird.com. You guys can come in here and you can check out his patterns. Just click here. Come here. You guys can click here and you can check out some of his patterns. Um, also, in Garnett, uh, has a lot of these in our Scrollers Choice magazine because he is a regular contributor to the magazine. So this Rocky Raccoon might look familiar to you guys, as well as uh, the baseball players. Um, again, that's uh, from him. You can go to www.stalbird.com. That's his website. Also, um, if you guys come to PS Wood Machines, uh, this web, this company here is run by Barbara Peters out of PA. She also sells um, Garnett's patterns for Garnett. So this is another way to get some of his patterns. Um, and as you can see, this is one off the summer issue that he designed and uh, was in the summer issue of Scrollers Choice this year. So that's uh, another way you can get it. Also on this website, they sell Kathy Wise patterns um, as well as some of my scroll saw patterns, but they also sell uh, Dan Wilkins and uh, Joe Adam or um, sorry, Joe Adams. It's uh, <laughs> um, they have other ones from um, uh, uh, Joe Nelson. Sorry, um, for adding color to scroll saw designs. Um, so she has some of those on here as well. I can see this is Dan Wilkins right here. So um, if you guys come on here, you can check out 
this website. See, here's one of my cars. So they have a bunch of my cars on here too. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, also, this is Bruce Worthington's Intarsia page. So if you guys want to come on here and buy a pattern from Bruce, uh, it's Intarsia dot com. That's his website. Or Intarsia. Yeah. I'm trying to see what it is here. It says Intarsia.net. Let's try that. Yep, Intarsia.net. Come here and then click on the Intarsia patterns. And then you come down here and he has them all listed where you can buy them up here. Uh, so if you guys want to see one of his real quick, I just clicked on Christmas. Here's his angel. Amber? No. I just clicked on his angel real quick. And uh, there's one of his angels. So if you guys want to come over and check out his patterns, you can do that. All right. And last but not least, in no particular order, uh, this is the last one I'm going to do for tonight. This is the website of Mr. Charles Daring. You guys can come here and check it out. It's woodenvisions.com. Amber, no. Come here. If you guys want to check out his patterns, you guys can check them out here. He has some of his free stuff up. We'll try that. Mm. There's some of his stuff. Him. Over here. And uh, here's his eagle. So here's one of his free ones. Um, but you guys come up here and you can actually buy them from him as well. Um, you can work cross custom patterns from him as well. Over here. So make sure you come over here and check out his website. Again, it's woodenvisions.com. All right. And now I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Now I'm back from screen sharing. <laughs> All right. Now, um, are there any questions? I, I, Lee, I also posed a couple in, in our, 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 our chat there as well. That's, that's it. I also posted a couple in our video chat as well, if you want to touch on those. In the video chat, oh, in the chat on a Google okay. Hang. Um. Oh yeah, I had Sheila's open earlier, and I don't know why I didn't do it. Uh, if you want to do that real quick, John, you want to pull it up and show it. Oh, okay. Give me a sec. <laughs> Did you mention it? I had it. <laughs> yeah, that's. I had it open originally when I was started the show. I had like twenty pages open, and then I went down and I went boom, oh, all of them. I had that one open earlier, and then I erased, went back, and I shut all of them down because I was working on some stuff, and then I reopened them, and I forgot to reopen that one. But, of course, uh, we should put um, Sue Mays on there. And we also have uh, Sheila Landry's, or Landry's and Keith's site. Um, Tonemakingplans.com is another great one if you want to get uh, for toys. Also, uh, Oshie's, workshop.com is uh, another one that's really good for toys. I got the toy making plan to me as a green share. <clears throat> yeah, I can do that. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, this screen share, show them a couple more sites. John's going to take over for a minute, guys, and then we'll be right back. So one one of the site one of the sites that I've actually been going to quite a bit lately is uh, toymakingplans.com, and I find that they're they're, they're they got daily deals, weekly deals as well. So uh, uh, the great small toys you can do them in weekends. They got uh, uh, multi faceted, multi level skill sets. Uh, they got a, a a lot of variety. Box cars. Uh, fancy cars, rocking horses that I, I've actually ordered two rocking horses that I'm in the, in the works of making right now. Um, I will show you pictures, I will show you a video, but I haven't started it. I'm not quite that far yet. And also, I've I've been using Sume a lot lately as well. Sawartist.com. She got a lot of holiday, a lot of theme stuff, 
and she's so nice that you can actually ask her for custom work and she, she'll give you a huge discount on them. Um, she's always got sales on all her patterns and everything else. And a lot of a lot of stuff that she offers is quick and easy to do. Uh, she's been in a lot of magazines as well, uh, like Creative Woodcrafts and Scroll Saw Woodworking, like since the '80s. Um, all, all her stuff, all her patterns are all PDF as well, so they're quick and easy to get and uh, everything like that. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a go on. Um, what to say here? <laughs> This is awesome. I love it. <clears throat> How do I get up presenting to everybody? Oh, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, Deep puts me on as a host, and I don't really know how to host the show yet. So, I wonder if Rick can help me out a bit here. <laughs> well, I guess go back over to YouTube there and see if anybody's got any questions or anything. Uh, well, I know I've been uh, I've been I've been chatting with Ron Norris. He's looking for a certain Christmas tree pattern. He doesn't seem to be able to find it anywhere at all, though. So many out there that anybody can actually pick and choose from, and I would just take a couple and make make them up to my own design. So. I, I'm not sure. Without seeing a picture of the pattern he's looking for, it's hard to tell. I know. I've seen uh, I've, I've seen three or four different pictures. I I, I, I said to him, one looks like Carl Taylor's, but uh, the pictures that he has are he's, he's pulling them from Pin well, his actually his sister. Sorry, he's pulling them off of Pinterest. He's getting them from um, some she's getting them from somewhere else i don't know where but uh, i do know that they look like they're mass produced and they're just small ones too just small table ones well he could just say if he's got a picture of it just cut the picture out yeah then you're dealing with copyright infringement and everything else like that but we don't that's another we don't want to get into that right now though but you know, it was the way we get the up here to see if anybody knew where it was from. Yeah, it's hard to say. You know, asking for a Christmas tree pattern is kind of vague. Well, it's like trying to pull hen's teeth, right? Yeah, it's like saying, I need a pattern of a snowman, and I'm looking for a certain one. Well, how many snowman patterns are out there? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've had that before. You know, you you see a pattern somewhere online, and then you try to get back to the person and ask them where they got it and where it was from, and then they'll never answer. And you know, it's a nightmare trying to find them. Uh, yeah, I know that. There are just so many designers and so many websites and. It's it's almost impossible to just look at one. It used to be years ago when it, about the only patterns you had were Spielman books. It was pretty easy. But now we've just got way too many. Back when, back when Spielman was basically the only guy doing it, and there was like 50 mag or 40, 50 books that he has out now. <clears throat> Everybody uh, wants to produce. Everybody wants to produce everything from Patrick Spielman, right? Yeah, I think I've got about all of Spielman's books. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, you look back at some of those now, and a lot of those were pretty simple patterns compared to what they're doing today. Yeah. And really, another cheap place to get patterns is go buy coloring books. There's a lot of pictures and coloring books that make great scroll saw patterns. I've actually tried that and I know that uh, uh, four or five different that are like, you know, trademark Disney and 
transform and stuff like that. I, 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 you know, you do them and you give them out as gifts, but I never actually, because I know, you know, copyright issues and everything else too, right? So. Well, yeah, there's copyright issues in trying to sell the pattern, but you can cut them out of scroll, you know, out of coloring books. And, and really, you go up to Google search and type in uh, Christmas ornament patterns, and you'd be surprised with what you'll come up with. And a lot of times you can just go up and do clip art for Christmas ornaments and come up with all kinds of stuff. Uh, just such a wide variety of ways anymore to come up with patterns that you know we never had before the advent of the computer. For the computers, you had to go find a book or a magazine that had them in. Oh yeah, I know exactly. I know that uh, uh, a lot of people are asking for a lot, like a lot of portraits and stuff now too. And a lot of people are just taking it on themselves, looking for cheap picture programs to make patterns out of. And uh, I do know that, like, basically, like when I do portraits, I just do them directly off the photo. It's I just find it so much easier than, but. Then you got to use your imagination. You need some some sort of drawing skills too. So, oh, what Coyote software? I think it is is supposed to draw portraits for you. I've never. I'm, tried, but I'm, I'm back. You guys miss me? Oh yeah, we missed you, Lee. I had like nothing to talk about. It was dead air for like five minutes. All right, good. <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I wasn't in the bathroom. I had to take the dog outside. She got really sick. She's all right now. Anyway, uh, let's see, 907. So did you show, did you show them uh, Sheila's site? Oh, uh, I, I didn't show them Sheila's site either. <clears throat> no, we got, we got all sidetracked about making our own patterns and stuff, too, so. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Sheila and Keith, and then uh, Sue. Uh, I showed them Sue's. I showed them uh, uh, all, all all toy patterns, and uh, here. So, if you guys want to go over to and you. Designs and because her and Keith Fenton, designer, has been doing it for many, many years, early 80s. And uh, I know I, I've ordered sets, I've ordered a um, multitude of patterns off of her. I got, I got a whole file folder full of Sheila, Sheila and Keith's patterns. Tons of deals as well. Everything's all sent PDF. If there's ever a problem, they're always like emailing you, and you can even call call them personally for any problems at all that you have. Um, have you ever ordered anything through them, Lee? Uh, yes, I did. I ordered. Uh, Sheila has a candle holder, uh, round, and then uh, there's a candle that sits on top of it, and she made like the charms to go around the outside of the. The candle. So you make like the charms and then you tie it with a, it's like a string or something and then the charms and then she made the, the bottom base. So I have that that I bought. I think it's the, uh, it's either the um, summer one that I have with the shells or it's the one that has the uh, shamrocks. So, yeah. But I have ordered through them. Yep. And then, uh, who else can we think of? <laughs> I don't know. There's like so many designers. It's unreal. It, 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 I know. It, it's hard. It's hard. It, everybody has their own favorite designers. Everybody has their own favorite go-to people. This, like you know, like ordering ordering stroll saw blades. <laughs> I uh, yesterday, or no, sorry, two days ago. And he come by and picked it up, walked to my shop, and goes, "Wow, you do all this stuff in here?" I'm like, "Yeah." He goes, "I." I he goes, you "Do it all by hand?" I'm like, "Yeah." I, I show him my Excalibur, and he's like, "Oh, well, 
you're selling me this, this 16 inch craftsman i'm like yeah that's what you wanted and he's like oh do you have any blades i'm like no i don't use flat blades from from no and these are all spirals so i don't know have fun with them <clears throat> Pack of flat blades that i did have lying around i gave them to him he'll be back he'll be a customer of mine so <clears throat> and he's, he's uh he's getting his son into it and uh He's uh oh, let's see, I think he said his son was like twelve years old. He started wanting to get into scroll sawing, so he's gonna bring his son by. I said I'd give him lessons and teach him a few things. So, well, there you go. Yay, carpenter, good to get the kids started. Holds his son exactly. Twelve, I think he said. Uh, when I started scrolling. You can take this off and present. There you go. Yeah, it was still on you. Ah, just take it care. All right. Well, um, while I'm thinking about it, uh, if you guys don't already know, we have a scroll saw expo coming up, uh, trade show coming up in Ohio next May. Um, I'm going to show you guys the website here real quick. All right, back to screen share again. All right. Okay. So if you guys want to check out the club website, it is NEOS Club One Word dot website dot com slash home. This is our home page come here and on this page you can see that uh, the show is Friday May 18th and Saturday May 19th 9 a.m. till 4 30 hosted by the Northeastern Ohio Growers Drill Center 1201 Grant Avenue Cuyahoga Falls Ohio 44223 I have the suggested lodging over here which we added this is the closest RV campground it is 15 to 20 minutes from the show uh, if you guys click on the name, it'll take you to their page. Let's just do that real quick. So here's their page, and you guys can uh, give them a call. And then we also have the Country Inn and Suites, which is, this one is probably five, ten minutes down the road. Uh, it is the closest hotel to the actual place. And this would be the next closest hotel. Um, all right, this one is uh, just got taken over by Norwood. This isn't a bad hotel. We actually almost had the uh, actual show here at the conference center. So uh, we looked at this hotel when we uh, first were considering it for the show. So that's a good one there. Uh, the vendor registration is here. Uh, the class registration is just um, filled out so you guys can fill it out for up to two people on the same form. Uh, you can see Bruce Worthington is doing the Antarctica class on Friday. Uh, we have a biography class by uh, Matt Stubbins. Jessica Boeing is doing a scroll saw basics class. There's Murray Newton is doing a scroll saw box making class. Uh, Jessica is, is teaching a second class, which is uh, using your iPad or tablet to design patterns using the Art Studio app, which she'll show you how to use. And then Holly Denny will be doing a pen making class. And Saturday is pretty much the same classes as uh, Friday. The difference with Saturday is we will be doing the raffle prizes and the um, scroll sub contest winners on Saturday. Let's see here. And then we'll have dinner on Friday night. And down here is all the information for the scrolls contest. And then, of course, these mail checks too. And then it's my address. All right. So if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to give me a holler. Facebook, whatever you want to do. But uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with me. All right. And I'm going to stop sharing so I can get back in 
here. Okay. And I'm uh, trying to look over there at the chat as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, good point, Ron. Um, also, Ron mentioned that uh, Uh, yeah, so Ron is actually over there in the chat. He said um, another designer that we forgot about um, is Charles Hingand. Um, yes, Charles Hingand is out there too. Uh, Alex Fox is another designer. Uh, Ron mentioned that over there as well. Uh, Alex is very talented. Um, like I said, this is not, the ones we had on here tonight are only a small sampling of the designers. There are so many designers. Um, but I'm also like, since this is live and some of them might actually see this, if you guys want to go on one of these, uh, you just have to have a video. We would love to have any of you guys come in here on any night, come on the chat with us. And uh, if you guys want to talk about your website or your company that you run, um, it goes out to the Scroll Saw Businesses too, Seiko, Sawmakers, Scroll Saw Blade Makers, PS Wood Machines, all that goes out to you guys. If any of you guys want to be on this ever to talk about your business, uh, please hit me up and we'll put you on here. You guys can talk about your company one night, um, which would be a good idea for you guys. Uh, yes, uh, Mike Scroll Song. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, there's just a ton of designers out there and uh, so many people. This lady is another designer. Uh, she designs for us. Jessica Boyim is another designer who designs for us. Uh, neither one of those two have their website kind of operational yet. And I know Florence and I are kind of working on hers a little bit. But um, she doesn't have the website up and running yet. But she uh, is also a designer. I mean, there's just a ton of designers. Um, so the best way, though, to meet all those designers is through those Facebook groups because that's where a lot of the designers tend to uh, congregate on a, a lot of those Facebook scroll saw groups. Uh, I'm trying to do the chat and watch this at the same time. It's kind of challenging. <laughs> uh, I had a question from someone earlier today. And I'm trying to just get back to my Facebook so that I can pull up that question and ask uh, Rick, that question. I think that would be a good one for him. I need to find the right page on Facebook, so bear with me just a moment. Uh, here it is. Um, Rick, there's a question for you or for John. Uh, Thomas. Birchfield uh, asked me over in the scroller or the scroll saw family group uh, on Facebook there. Don't know where you're on. Uh, he asked the following question. Uh, he wants to do uh, some Christmas puzzles for his niece and nephew. Uh, he says his niece is teething, so he's just concerned about the stains and paints to use. He says, I'm wanting to make them or make her a nice puzzle with large pieces and uh, possibly building blocks. But he doesn't know what stains or paints to use since so they're teething. Uh, mineral oil would be one you could use because that would basically be child grade. Uh, for colors, I don't know, food coloring on the food would, uh, if they chewed on it, would get wet and end up coloring their lips and everything, everything that they got wet, I'm afraid food coloring would come back out. I think most of the other finishes, your lacquers and everything else, so once they dry, they're considered food safe, so I guess I wouldn't worry too much about them for, you know, making kids toys and stuff. 
another easy one for making puzzles is uh, take old Christmas cards and glue them to a piece of wood and then cut out puzzle shapes on that and actually turn the Christmas card into a puzzle. And that way they can save their favorite Christmas cards. I read an article a couple years ago and I keep seeing it every once in a while. I can't remember who put it out. It's natural stains that you can use for wood and uses like strawberries, blueberries, grapes to give you various colors and stuff like that. Coated them with, I think, a natural beeswax. The color in, and that, and the thing is, it, it's still edible. It's still natural, and it's I don't know. I guess you could use something like that for babies, but it's hard to really say it because child's gonna chew on. It's gonna go in their mouth anyway, regardless. And I would think you'd want to be a little bit selective on woods and not get some of the exotics that you might have an, an allergy to. Yeah, how about Rick? How about Rick Fabric dyes? He used that to dye my projects. See, I wonder about yeah, some of the. Uh, what, if they put them in their mouth and you know basically got them wet, would they bleed back out again? I don't know. We used to chew on lead paint toys too, so we're okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're okay. Well, yeah, John, you were eating paint chips as a kid, so it's all good. Uh, cover them with different color frosting, and that way they can eat them. <laughs> there you go. Cover it with frosting. That's that. That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, well, believe it or not, we are almost at the 9.30 mark. Uh, do we have any questions over there in the chat? I'm looking. Well, somebody over That's there in the chat said that, oh, John said he uses food calorie. Yeah. John Schaffler said neither will bleed out if wet. Okay. I know people use them, but I just never used them myself i mean i've used the t-shirt dye and dye projects but i never you know took that project gave it to a kid and had them chew on it so i don't know about that well the other dye you can use too is leather dye go, go to tandy leather and they've got all kinds of dyes but then again i don't know whether i would call them something i'd want a kid chewing on Hello, Don Lorenz joins us when the chat is almost over, but welcome to the chat. You put 8.30 Central, right? Well, I think I got my time zones mixed up. Yeah, because it's 8.24 Central time now. Everyone was telling me that uh, I have that mixed up, so. I think maybe I, what am I? Oh, it's a 9.24 here, so what is that, Pacific? I think it's Eastern, wasn't it? Eastern. Eastern. Yeah, maybe it's Eastern. <laughs> I'm uh, 7.30 Mountain right now. Yeah, I got 9.24, so maybe I'm East. No. But, see, but, Central is 8.24. But welcome, John. Correct. Welcome, Don. How are you tonight? Yep. We were talking about uh, places to get scroll saw patterns tonight online, either free or purchasing. Okay. You, got, you got a favorite you like? Uh, well, with the entire, the I probably get the majority of my patterns from Judy Gill Roberts' site. I do get some from uh, Garnett Hall's site, some from Kathy Wise. And uh, Scroller Online is where I get some of my other patterns from, too. Yeah, 
Yeah, we uh, did all those tonight. Scroller LTD and Judy, Kathy, and uh, we covered a lot of them. <laughs> I've gotten a few from Bruce Worthington too. Yeah, we did Bruce's and Garnett's site tonight. But uh, there's only one fire truck out there though that I know of. That is true, and <laughs> I got that pattern from you. <laughs> That's the blue winning fire truck, right? The blue ribbon winning fire truck, right there. Uh, oh, my entire shoe pattern's up there yet. I got like three or four. I don't even think the fire truck's up there yet on my website. I'm behind because of the magazine. So, um, did you talk about Danny's site too? What's that? Danny Van Waddingen. Oh no, that's an issue. There's another one. Uh, Danny. Van Waddingen does the uh, Intarsia Owls. So, uh, he's got, yeah, he's got more patterns than what are on his website, too. Do you know what his website know. is? What's that? Do you know what his website address is? I believe it's Intarsia.uk. It's what is it? Intarsia? Let me check real quick, but I believe it's Intarsia.uk. Yeah, see, there's so many designers out there that we can't even think of all. <laughs> Somebody got a radio. Yeah. What's that? What? Oh, we lost John. Someone's got a radio on. Yeah, really. TV. All right, John's back. Welcome back, John. Well, I told you it's snowing up here, so I don't know. I'm getting bad connection now. Ah, so it's the weather. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be. That must be done with all that music and stuff in the background. Oh, yeah, I got some background noise going there. HBO's got Watch this uh, Rolling Stone series or something going. I just tuned into that uh, for some background noise. Well, you just have to mute your mic then so you can listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're about done anyway. <laughs> Next time, though, everybody watching, when I say 9, 8.30, I really mean... Uh, 8.30 your time? 8.30 my time, which is uh, 7.30 your time or something. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah Danny oh. said it's in Tarsa.uk. Tarsia.uk. That's it. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think I was there. Before. But uh, he does the Tarsia Owls, I know, because we had a bunch of them in the magazine. Right. He was, he was a contributor for us for a long time, and then I uh, don't know why, but he just uh, we just didn't have him in for a while. So um, if uh, you guys want to check out his website, as Don said, it's in Tarsia. Dot UK. But that's like I'm saying, there's so many um, designers, and as I'm sitting here thinking of them all, I can't even get them all in my head. There's that many designers out there. So we covered a lot of them tonight. Um, but there's a ton. And as I was saying earlier, uh, if there's a designer or somebody that runs a scroll saw business that wants to come on here and show, promote their business, uh, be it, be it uh, Seiko or PS Work Machines or a Blade Company or 
uh, a designer themselves, such as Kathy Garnett. Uh, Bruce has already been on here. Steve's already been on here. Charles has already been on here. Rick's continuously on here. <laughs> um, so uh, if you guys, if any of you want to be on the show, please let me know, and uh, we'll add you to the panel one night. Uh, we would love to have you. So um, it is now 931. So with that being said, uh, if we didn't feature you guys today, sorry about that. It wasn't a personal thing. Uh, just um, if you guys want to be on here next time or you want us to feature you, let us know, and we'll uh, make sure we mention you guys next time. We may do a part two to this, so uh, like a to-be-continued kind of thing. So um, if you guys want to be uh, mentioned on the show or your website, please let me know. We can make that happen. All right. I want to thank everyone for being on the panel tonight. Uh, Rick Hutchinson, thank you very much. John Cossons, thank you, sir. And, of course, Mr. Don Lorenz. Yep. Thank you, sir. Better late than never. But <laughs> you bet. And then, of course, everybody over there on the YouTube chat, uh, Ron Norris, John Schaffner, uh, who else is over there? Edward Henry, and Florence Leedy. Trying to scroll up and it's not cooperating. Uh, who else is over there? I don't know. Everybody's all quiet over there. Nobody's talking. Jerry Hughes. Thank you, sir, for doing the show tonight. Uh, that's about it. That's it, everybody. Thank you, everybody over there. For see you guys on the next scrollers chat and uh, till next show. Click on. Me.